Hello St George's, I hope you're all doing well. I'm going to read another one of these social stories. It's called Hippo Owns Up, a book about telling the truth. I think you'll like this one, I really like it. At St George's we talk about the importance of telling the truth. Even when we've done something that we know we shouldn't have done, and we know it was wrong, we made a mistake, we say to the children, we would much prefer you to be honest um, and tell the truth rather than um, lie and say you didn't do it. Because otherwise you have a horrible feeling in your stomach and we'll find out more about that later on in the story. It was Tuesday and Hippo was having a bad day. He had got up late. He had missed breakfast. He was late for school too. Miss Bird was cross. Then Miss Bird gave him lots of sums to do, but Hippo was too hungry to do them. Hippo looked at the clock. It was nearly lunchtime. Mrs Croc always made chocolate cake for lunch on Tuesdays. Oh, look at that. She always put lots of chocolate icing on the top too. Hippo thought about the chocolate cake and the chocolate icing. His tummy rumbled loudly. I wonder if you can remember what type of word loudly is. It ends in L-Y and it's describing how his tummy is rumbling. Everyone heard. Everyone giggled. Miss Bird told them to get on with their work. But the more Hippo thought about the chocolate cake, the louder his tummy rumbled. Then he got the hiccups. The hiccups were very, very loud. Everybody laughed. Miss Bird got cross. She said Hippo was disturbing everyone. She told him to go to the kitchen to get a drink of water. Hippo went to the kitchen. The big chocolate cake was on the table. He went to, to get a closer look. It looked delicious. It smelt delicious. He decided to try a tiny bit of it. Do you think that was the right thing to do? He picked up a spoon and took a bit of cake. It tasted wonderful. Oh no. Was that the right thing? Hippo stared at the cake. Now, that, now there was a little hole on one side of the cake. He tried to smooth the icing over the hole, but it looked worse. He took some cake from the other side and tried to even it up, but it looked worse than before. Hippo was worried. He wanted to make the cake look better. He took more and more cake. It tasted delicious, but the more he took, the worse it looked. Soon there was no cake left at all. Oh no! Hippo went back to class. I wonder what you think he's feeling now. Probably a little bit guilty and a little bit sick. Miss Bird said he had been a long time. She told him to get on with his sums. But Hippo could not get on with his sums. His tummy felt too full and he felt too sick. He felt bad for eating all the cake. And that's how we can sometimes know that we've done something um, that we shouldn't have done. It's how we feel in our tummy. Just then the bell rang for lunchtime. Everyone lined up. But Mrs Croc had some bad news. She said there was no chocolate cake because it, had, it was all gone. She said Hattie, the school cat, must have eaten it. She said Hattie was a bad cat. Hippo said nothing. Do you think that's the right thing for Hippo to have done, to have said nothing? So somebody else is getting the blame. Hattie, the cat, is getting the blame for eating the cake. I wonder how Hippo feels in his tummy. I think he probably has a horrible feeling in his tummy. And that he's feeling really, really guilty and feeling awful. And that's why it's important that we are honest and tell the truth because then we feel better inside. Everyone ate their lunch, but Hippo was not hungry. I bet he wasn't. He'd eaten all that chocolate cake that was meant to be for all the children in the school. He was not hungry at all. Mrs Croc was worried. Hippo was always hungry. That's, that's why she felt worried because she thought um, that he must be ill. So she sent him to Miss Bird. 
I wonder what Hippo does now, whether he does the right thing. What do you think the right thing is for Hippo to do? Hippo told Miss Bird about the chocolate cake. He told her that he'd eaten it, not had to. So he was probably feeling so awful inside, he thought the best thing is to do to tell an adult about it, of the truth, even though he knows it was wrong. Miss Bird said that he should not have eaten the cake, but that he was brave to own up, so he was honest, he did the right thing. She said he should have a good think about how to put things right. Hippo had a good think. He told Miss Bird he had to say sorry to everyone for eating the cake, so I think that's a really good thing, that we say sorry when we know we've done something and wish we hadn't done it. And then it makes everyone feel better then. He said he had a good idea to put things right. He told Miss Bird his good idea. She said it was a very good one. Hippo said sorry to everyone because there was a lot of people that missed out on that chocolate cake. He said sorry to Mrs Croc. He said sorry to Hattie the cat because poor, poor cat, he got the blame. And it wasn't even him that ate the other cake. Then Hippo asked Mrs Croc if she would help him to bake a new chocolate cake for everyone. Mrs Croc gave him lots of help. Hippo baked a very good cake. It had lots of chocolate icing on the top too. Mm. Soon the cake was ready to eat. Everyone went to get a closer look. It looked delicious. It smelled delicious. Everyone took a bit of cake. It tasted wonderful. Hippo was pleased. So he managed to put things right by baking a new one because it was only fair that all the other people get a piece of cake. Hippo said he was glad he had owned up and put things right. So that's again where he feels in his tummy. He now feels really relieved that he um, did the right thing and, and, and told the truth. Then Mrs Croc asked him if he would like some cake. Hippo said he did not want any. He said he did not want any chocolate cake ever again. And everybody laughed. Why do you think he didn't want any chocolate cake again? Do you think he just felt so, so sick from eating too much? And that's the end of the story. I can't wait to see some of you soon. Take care. Bye.